Parshas Vayishlach recounts the story of the abduction of Dina. In last week's portion, Dina was born, and Rashi explains that initially Dina was to have been a male child. But Leah, already having six children and knowing that Yaakov was only going to have 12 sons, understood that if she has another son, then her sister, Rachel, would only have one son, and that would have put her in a less of a standing than the two handmaidens. So she prayed that her next child should be a female. And indeed, Dina was born, and she's called Dina as an expression of judgment. Din meaning judgment. In this week's portion, Dina goes out to the meet with the girls of the area, and she's referred to as Dina Bas Leah, specifically. Not Dina, the daughter of Jacob, but Dina, the daughter of Leah, because Jacob didn't care really who the twelve sons were and who gave birth to them. So it mattered to Leah that Dina be a female. The Kabbalah discusses this incident at great length. Leah is referred to as the faculty of thought. Rachel is speech, as she's referred to as Hakatana, the smaller one, meaning the one which is more contained, is speech, whereas Hagadola, the bigger one, which is less contained, is thought. Dina is an expression of the final result of thought. When a person begins to think, what are they thinking? Well, what am I going to do? That's the idea of Din. She was abducted by Shechem ben Hamor the Chivi. Chivi meaning the Hittite. The word Chivi is related to the word Chavia. Chavia in a, it means a snake. And indeed, the relationship of Shechem and Dina was similar to the relationship between Chava, Eve, and the first snake. That the Chivites, the snake-like nation, you might say, is analogous of the forces of evil that want to leech on and suck off all the holiness that holiness has to offer. And so, how is it that we're going to explain the relationship is our thoughts should be geared towards holiness. And it takes a lot of energy to think logically with, with progressions and in order to come up with a conclusion. It's not haphazard. The forces of evil want to suck off on that energy and so there, hence, we see the abduction of Dina, the final result, being absorbed by the final snake, the forces of evil, saying, no, 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 no. Don't put all that energy into holiness. Put all that energy into the forces of evil, into us. What was the result? Shimon and Levi wiped out the entire Chivite city of Shechem. Shimon means that he heard. Levi means a connection. Shimon, like Shema, means to listen to Hashem and be Levi connected to God. And when a person is connected and is listening to the words of the Torah, then their thoughts are geared towards the forces of holiness, and we cut off the head of the proverbial snake. For the Uparsha, I'm Herschel Finman.